hi welcome to the mathematics mi channel today we are going to solve another interesting integral integral from 0 to 1 x to the minus x dx well before solving this question what is the sophomore's dream okay in mathematics we know the sophomore's dream is the pair of these two integrals 0 to 1 x to the x dx and 0 to 1 x to the minus x dx generally this integral we call sophomore's dream okay now let's go to the question so first we know x is equal to e to the natural log of x then e and natural log get cancelled so x is equal to x so we can write x to the minus x is equal to now we can plug in e to the ln x for this x so we can write e to the natural log of x to the minus x now we have e to the function to the function so we can write e to the we can multiply this function so we can write minus x times natural log of x okay now our integral 0 to 1 x to the minus x dx so now we can write this is equal to 0 to 1 infinite sum from 0 to infinity minus x times natural log of x to the n power over n factorial dx okay now we can write 0 to 1 sum of 0 to infinity here minus 1 to the n power times x to the n power natural log of x to the n power over n factorial dx now here minus 1 to the n power and n factorial we can write outside of the integral so we can write 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n power over n factorial 0 to 1 x to the n power natural log of x to the n power dx okay interesting integral so using this integral i created the question uh, integral from 0 to 1 x times natural log of x to the 20 20 dx so if you like to watch this video I will add the link in the description and also I will make a card and also here in this integral we saw in a previous video also I will add the description and also make a card so now here how to solve this okay we can use substituting method so if we take sorry if we take u is equal to minus natural log of x so we can write natural log of x is equal to minus u and x is equal to <coughs> e to the minus u okay now i rewrite here u is equal to minus natural log of x and now derivative so du is equal to minus 1 over x dx now we can isolate the dx so dx is equal to minus x times dx now minus x is equal to e to the minus u sorry uh, here dx is equal to du so e to the minus u du okay now we need to change the limits so when x approaches to 0 u approaches to minus natural log of 
0 we need to put the plus mark because natural log of x uh, approaches to 0 in positive side so this is going to minus times minus infinity so infinity and upper boundary when x approaches to 1 u approaches to minus natural log of natural log of 1 so this is going to 0 okay now our integral 0 to 1 x to the minus x dx so this is equal to sum of 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n power over n factorial from 0 to 1 x to the n times natural log of x to the n power dx okay now we can substitute so we can write n is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n power over n factorial now lower limit infinity to 0 now x is equal to e to the minus u so e to the minus u to the n now natural log of x is equal to minus u so minus u to the n power and dx dx is equal to minus e to the minus u du okay then n is equal to 0 to infinity here minus 1 to the n power over n factorial now we can change the limit upper boundary and lower boundary so 0 to infinity when we change the limit this minus get cancelled so now we have here e to the minus u to the n power times here e to the minus u to the 1 power and here minus 1 to the n power u to the n power du okay now here we can write n is equal 0 to infinity minus 1 over n over n factorial and here minus 1 to the n power so we can write minus 1 to the n power integral from 0 to infinity here e to the minus u e to the minus u so we can write e to the minus u to the n plus 1 power times u to the n power du okay now n is equal 0 to infinity here minus 1 to the 2 times n over n factorial 0 to infinity here we can multiply this so e to the minus u times n plus 1 times u to the n du okay now here we know minus 1 to the 2 times n so this is equal to 1 so we can write n is equal 0 to infinity 1 over n factorial here now how can we evaluate this integral we can use substitutive method again so if we take uh, I write here this place uh, u times n plus 1 is equal to t now differentiate so we can write n plus 1 du is equal to dt and limits are not changed so we can write 0 to infinity here e to the minus u times n plus 1 so minus t times u to the n power so we know here u is t over n plus 1 so here u to the n power so t to the n power over 
n plus 1 to the n power du is equal to dt over n plus 1 so dt over n plus 1 okay now we can write here this is equal to n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 over n factorial and here n plus 1 to the n power n plus 1 to the 1 power so n plus 1 to the n plus 1 power so we can write this place n plus 1 to the n plus 1 power integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus t times t to the n dt okay now this is familiar with us because we know n factorial is equal to gamma of n plus 1 and this is equal to 0 to infinity e to the minus t times t to the n dt okay now we can write 0 to 1 x to the minus x dx so this is equal to sum of 0 to infinity here we have 1 over n factorial times 1 over n plus 1 to the n plus 1 times 0 to infinity e to the minus t t to the n dt we know gamma of n plus 1 and now we can write 1 over n factorial times 1 over n plus 1 to the n plus 1 power times this is equal to n factorial and now n factorial get cancelled now we have n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 over n plus 1 to the n plus 1 okay now if we take r is equal to n plus 1 so now when n is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 so we can write r is equal to 1 to infinity here we have n plus 1 is equal to r to the r now we can write this is equal to 1 to infinity r to the minus r okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching